Hey everybody, welcome back to Bow and Arrow Garage and welcome to a, a beautiful day here in South Central Texas. Um, the weather is actually really, really nice today. Um, as you can see, I'm wearing long sleeves, but that's not due to the weather. It's because I'm going to be doing fiberglass work on the car. And the last couple of times I've got it, it's just gotten into my arms and just driving me crazy. So, um, but we have been having some really good weather. Um, the last few weeks, it's been probably in the high 50s, low 60s in the mornings. I get up quite early, so um, when I go out, it's, it's been pretty refreshing. But it's still getting up into the high 80s, low 90s in the evenings. But today, it's really, really temperate out today. And, and man, I just couldn't resist the temptation to get out here in the garage when the weather's like this. So I'm going to get the uh, camera turned around, show you where we're at. I actually tried to record a video last week, but I ended up working on another vehicle of mine, and it turned into this big issue. And, and so I just didn't have time to put out the video. So some of the footage I'm going to show you is what I did do to the car last week. But I'm also going to show you where I'm at and um, hopefully I'm going to get this whole rear quarter panel, filler, filler panel, valance um, wrapped up in this video and move on to different things. So let me get the camera turned around I'll show you where I'm at and hopefully by the end of this video we'll, we'll be um, completely done with this rear end and moving on to bigger and better things. So I kind of wanted to give some context as to why I was making this video. Um, I've been so discombobulated with everything that was going on and and it's been so sporadic on the videos and I've made a lot of little piecemeal videos but to try to tie it all together basically I bought these bumpers off of eBay and um, when I came in to install them the left one fit pretty good and when I went to put the right one on there was a huge gap over here on this right rear corner and nothing lined up over here at all it, it was really really bad but as I started looking at it, I realized that there had been um, some impact damage on this right rear quarter and that somebody had done just a really shoddy repair. They had actually taken some, some metal flange um, and made a piece, the support piece in here, but they didn't get this contour correct and so the bumpers just didn't fit right. So you'll see in the videos I had to cut a lot of this stuff out. I'm actually going back in with it now. It's, it's looking pretty decent. But um, the bumper doesn't fit perfect, but the bumper is now installed. Um, my gaps are pretty close from the left to the right. There's still a little bit more of a gap here, but at the end of the day, the bumper looks pretty good. The, uh, the quarter panel looks pretty good. So I'm going to show you um, basically step by step how we got from where we were to where we are today. And uh, hopefully you enjoyed the video. I'm going to be... Uh, really working on this back corner right here. I finally got the part in that I had ordered. So there she is. It's gonna set up in here, kinda, kinda in that area somewhere. And then I'll be able to, uh, to repair all this mess. Still got, it's gonna take me a while because I'm gonna do some very precise measuring, make sure I get the contours correct. Um, this this whole area right here was really built up and I think that was what was causing the issue you can see this side is very flat where it comes down and that side is quite a bit more rounded so this part is going to help give me the proper contour but like I said I'm gonna do a lot of measuring off of this side over here make sure I get everything lined up correctly and then I'll start building everything back up over here and hopefully it comes out good. At the end of the day, it's going to have to, whether I have to uh, continue taking it apart and doing it again. And then I'm going to also use the, the rear valance as a guide. This came with the car when I bought it. Apparently somebody had bought it. Looks like it is an Eckler's piece. I've, I've had it installed before. It fits pretty good. It just, whoever trimmed it, uh, trimmed a little bit too much so I mean you can see here it's just kind of sloppy work but I'm gonna clean it up I'll do what I have to do to make it look better but at the end of the day I'm gonna just use it to help get my contours correct make sure everything looks good so so uh, without much further ado I'm gonna go ahead and get it uh, get going on this thing and see what we can do
Okay, so I've done a whole lot of grinding around here. As you can see, it, it broke through in a couple places here. Actually, I hit that corner up in there, but what I'm trying to do, this thing was, was so built up that it was very rigid. And so I'm gonna locate this valance panel. It's already been located by the previous owner and it's quite a bit off so had to trim a little more out here they had trimmed this edge it looks pretty bad but trimming it out and the holes i don't know if they came pre-drilled or if the previous owner did that but they're off quite a bit so i'm gonna have to pick those up and get this side in then i can work on the other side and I need this located so that I can mate up this guy there and there. So, so anyways, like I said, I'm working on it. It's pretty, uh, pretty ugly right now, but we'll get it taken care of at the end of the day. So, and then once I get everything located, I can fix this crack along here and we'll get all this stuff filled in, hopefully make it look pretty. And hopefully, not only make it look pretty, but have a bumper that'll fit. So, anyways, that's where we're at, and uh, got a long ways to go. Okay, I got the valance uh, somewhat located now. 
you can see how far the holes were off. I had to pull them quite a bit. And it was just one of those things where just get, kind of get the holes in the right place. I'm going to have to fiberglass these in, clean it up, trim it out, make it look better. I'm going to probably build up this corner right here, that corner there. Most, for the most part, those areas are going to be uh, covered by the bumpers, but still going to clean it up. You can see whoever cut this, it just, it looks like mess. So I'm going to go ahead and probably fix this crack right here right now. Um, I'll probably just uh, clamp this right here. And on the back side, I'll, I'll kind of cut that out, grind that out a little bit. On the back side, put a little bit of uh, fiberglass in there. And then uh, once I'm done, I'm going to go ahead and re-glass all this. But for now, I'm just trying to get it located. But So hopefully now my piece will I'll be able to locate it a little bit better. Obviously, can uh, hold the camera and, and hold that. But yeah, that's going to be much better than it was. So. <clears throat> okay, I've got this thing located as best as I can get it. I'm going to go ahead and um, glue this portion in right here. Um, I've just got this little section right here. I'm going to have to end up taking this off and I'll cut some of this out and put a little filler in there for now. But right now I just want to get it glued into place. I've got it held here. I'm going to clamp it. I'm going to probably put a screw right there and then um, I'll go from there. So it's going to be a little bit, uh, a little bit hairy, but we'll get her done. Should be good. Uh. So that's just going to be the first and many steps there, but that's a major step to get that uh, to get that former in there, and then. Um, We'll go from there. Like I said, I'll end up cutting a little bit of this out and just making a flat piece that ties in here, my upper um, bonding strip, and then I'll probably make a little bonding strip for this corner. And uh, that should be it. <clears throat> okay, guys, as you can see, I've, I've got a lot of work accomplished on this rear quarter panel. Um, the bumper fits pretty good, but I still have a lot of work to do. So first of all, you can see this gap right here. That gap, I'm gonna end up filling it in. It's also got a gap on the uh, left side, so I kinda had to mock up what was going on there. That way the bezel would fit in here because if I had gotten it too close over here, the bezel wouldn't have physically fit. So uh, it ended up with that gap. Like I said, the left side has the same gap, so I'm gonna make some panels for that. Um, it's also gonna help because there's gonna be a, a faster that attaches this former to the filler panel going from uh, left to right. 
and this leg on the uh, filler panel was not long enough. In other words, they didn't put enough material. It's only about an inch wide and needs to be about an inch and a half um, so that we have a good edge distance on the uh, screw. I've got the same issue on this, this former that I bought. This leg, they didn't make it long enough, so the screw that goes to the bezel is not going to have enough material, so I'm going to have to actually fill it. Uh, I'm going to have to actually lengthen that a little bit to make that better. And then um, I'm not sure about the holes in here. I think actually I'm going to have the same issue on the holes in the filler. So I'm just going to have to put a little bit of material in there to kind of uh, make it longer. That way when I put the screw in, it actually has something to attach to. So I've got all that work to do. I'm going to go ahead and end up trimming these out a little bit. I, I did a little repair work to this where the where those holes were, um, where they were drilled in correctly and I had to move them. So I kind of glass it in. I still got some work to do on it to make it look better, but um, it's got a lot of work. I'm going to go ahead and uh, get to it. And first things I'm going to try is, is do this repair of this filler, um, fill in this gap, and then I'll continue from there. Okay, folks, I got the uh, bumpers located. This is the right one and the left one. And it doesn't look like a lot has been accomplished, but I have made a lot of progress here. So this is the uh, filler panel. I've been working on it. Um, I'm about to locate the exhaust bezels here. But yeah, it's uh, coming along. It's, it's taking a lot of work. And up inside, I've got these bumper supports permanently located. Uh, I think that's the first time they've actually been on the car in the correct spot since I, uh, since I brought the car home. So that's good. And this I'm going to have to do a little modification to. This is the new former that I installed. It's not tall enough. It's the the hole is going to come right through the edge. I don't know why they made it like that. The other one on the opposite side is about a half an inch taller. So that's what's going to have to happen over here. But I'm going to go ahead and uh, locate these exhaust bezels. And then I'm going to have to pull these bumpers back off. And there's a little bit of finish work I'm going to have to do. I also made these plates on the on the uh, side bolts for the bumpers every time I would put those bolts in um, the fiberglass on the outside would crack it just wasn't strong enough so I filled that area in and then I uh, put these made these plates kind of chamfered them and um, put in a layer of composite in there and then tightened them down to where it would conform to it so that way it just gives some extra uh, structural strength to it and um, has something where it could set flat because of the roundness of it. It wasn't setting flat even with the washer on it. So anyways, that's that. Like I said, I got these, uh, these supports for the bumper installed. Um, Everything is coming together. Um, I'm going to go ahead and locate these exhaust bezels. And then once I get those installed, then um, we can go ahead and uh, move forward with this thing. But it's looking real good. I'm, I'm pretty happy overall with everything. So, anyways, we'll uh, get to it. So everything is taking about twice as long as I had hoped. I'm not really all that surprised, but I have these aftermarket parts, and a lot of them aren't fitting. This one here, the hole for the uh, bezel came out right on the edge. This one was going to be the same thing. Same thing on the other sides. This aftermarket uh, former that I bought, it's not tall enough here or here to pick up the bezel screws either. So I'm having to extend those. So everything is just taking uh, a lot longer than expected. So I'm going to have to go ahead and uh, get in and start editing this video. Uh, I'm not going to be to the point where I wanted to be. But at the end of the day, I always try to not get uh, lost in the forest. And so I've kind of done that with this uh, rear quarter panel slash bumper install. It's just been one of those things.
and I've still got work to do. Um, looking at this right here, I'm going to have to extend this out some more, build it up. It, uh, I guess when it got hit, they just sanded it down. It's um, There's a lot bigger gap between the bumper and the body than there is over here. This looks more uh, like a natural transition. So I've got a lot of work to do yet, but it's coming along. I'm happy with the bumper placement and I've just got to get them powder coated. I've got to do, like I said, I've got to finish this body work, but it's going to come one day at a time. So do what I can and uh, go from there. All right, guys, I'm going to go ahead and end the video here. As you can see behind me, the, uh, the rear closed out panel is sitting here on the hood. I've got uh, fiberglass drying on it. Uh, you know, it's, it's pretty sad that we have to do modifications to a new part in order to get them to work, but kind of is what it is. But at the same time, I can't lose, lose sight of the fact that we got a lot accomplished on the car. The, um, it doesn't have a big hole in the rear quarter panel anymore. The bumper actually fits. So, you know, it's kind of that old thing where you can't lose sight of the forest because of the trees. So this has been something that's been kind of keeping my attention for a while. I've still got a little bit of work left on it, but I'm looking forward to moving away from it and getting on to bigger, better things. But right now, we've got to get this done, and so um, we're almost there. We're almost there. So um, anyways, thank you for watching the video. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, like, share, subscribe. Um, we look forward to seeing you next time. Um, have a great night, and we'll see you again soon. Bye.